Welcome back everybody, it's JD, we're 7 Days to Die, Darkness Falls mod, and the Merrick's Marauders 10k map. So, this will be the last episode, I'm going to tie it in with the Day 7000 uh, Blood Moon uh, against my Horde base, and uh, what I did last couple days is... Well, I went out on a motorcycle and basically circumnavigated the entire map. Let's start up, let's start from north easternmost thing. We'll pan along the water's edge. There's Caitlin. Uh, here's the North Snow City. And here's where Eve was and all the demon portals. Let me scroll in so you guys can see that a little bit better. Um, scroll out and we follow it around. Uh, and then down. No other real cities. Uh, there's nothing that I could tell. No real roads. This just, there's nothing in there. Um, the broke city was a disappointment. Not, nothing there but the fact that it's broke. Uh, that the game basically crashes when you go there. You fall into the earth and can't go anywhere. Uh, but then it comes down. Uh, this is new. You guys didn't see this before. Um, this is uh, an Asian village or an Asian island. Uh, these are bridges. Uh, bridge over here and then bridge over here. And there's bridges to all three of these islands. And this is uh, t typical. I think it's called Chinatown. Um, let's see, go down here, uh, desert, desert, well here's a small bunker over here, so we might as well talk about this, uh, there's nothing else around there, just desert, and the ways in are here and here, uh, but I drove around all over the place, and we're down to the, the bottom part, Big, really big city here, and tra there's a Trader Bob there. Um, and over here is a boat. It's a Trader Gen boat, which was pretty nice. Um, but then we come back here, and I didn't see a connection, a road that actually went back over this way. But we drove through, the, I circumnavigated it. The last time we, we had drove through it. And then back over to this side, uh, where we get back uh, to where um, basically uh, Trader Bob was. Is do I still not have Trader? There's Trader Bob, and where we originally started the game. Um, panning uh, more southeast easterly. Or easterly from the south. Um, this just goes into the desert. Uh, eventually it does turn into uh, greenery, a forest biome. And this actually links back to uh, where we are now and to the island. There's that island link there. Um, Since we started in the desert, it would have been nice if if the pu somehow they herded us this way so we could eventually go around and discover this and get back in over to here. Because this really is a central part of the, the map for the most part. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, as we follow the coast up, uh, we find another uh, uh, wasteland place and then back into the snow biome and uh, to a, that big city we had already been to. And we need to pan back to the center where Caitlin is and then back down. So we, we had already, uh, this about center of the map, well, north center of the map. Uh, we'd already mapped that out. Uh, I did think I plugged in some of the, I think I circumnavigated to plug in the water. Uh, and the, there's a trader wrecked up here too an, on a boat, um, which is kind of cool. Um, 
but uh, that's the map um, basically my, my my problems with the map are basically the roads I mean if you think about it, this is zombie apocalypse um, the roads would still be there. there there should be major roads connecting towns that's all I, I can say uh, even if they were around about this way see like th this is cool Okay, the only way you can get there is that is through there. Now, what would have been nice is seeing like a destroyed bridge, you know, some destroyed bridges and stuff. I mean, we built a bridge uh, over here at the the Asian island. They built the bit bridge. They built bridges. Uh, those are still intact. So why couldn't uh, Cap Crunch put us a couple bridges, even if they were broke? Uh, give us an idea of where we needed to go. <clears throat> um, that's the problem with this map it's just it, it's too big and you get lost I mean I drove around and around and around and bored you guys to death and then I drove around off camera at, to finish this map uh, and found a couple things we didn't quite find earlier uh, and I got lucky you know because I, I, I knew I wanted to go up north uh, to find Eve, and we did find her eventually, uh, and then we, I, I, again, it was Caitlin, I, I expected to find her in, um, a wasteland biome, but here she's on this little island behind a wasteland biome, and I flat out just got lucky there, I mean, absolutely, I was just, you know, where can she be, where can she be, because I thought we'd seen all the wasteland biomes, and here we had had this little bit up here, and I said, well, maybe it's a bigger biome, and, and we just happened to go up up there and, and see that there was an island. So uh, that was fortuitous. Otherwise, we'd been a couple more days, a few more days. Uh, you can easily spend probably 100, 120 days on this map, uh, especially if you were doing uh, normal uh, XP progression. Uh, Things I do like, uh, I like, I like this. I like the, I don't like the fact that Eve's in the middle of it. Uh, I would have put the big bunker in there, or, or the lab, whatever, um, or the little one there, and then, you know, the big one over in here, because this is a freaking, wow, this is. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm impressed with the amount of detail that went into making these P, this POI or these multiple POIs that made up this thing. I think that was just really cool. I think we're up here where uh, Eve is is cool. Whoops, where's Eve? Is cool. I just don't think she should have been there. Uh, Eve probably should have been, you know, somewhere out here. You know, uh, maybe. Maybe up here off this uh, north big town, uh, or even even on the island, uh, but not hidden by the the radiation zone, um, because you have in the in Darkness Falls you have to pay attention to the the player level. You don't want them finding stuff too fast. I mean, literally, we, we found, I have to go back and look at the video, but we found the, the big bunker, and I probably was only about level 70, and I shouldn't even be able to imagine the big bunker till I can do f radiation stuff. Um, and then the other thing was putting the my second trader, or third trader, in the radiation zone. Um, I don't know if it was a bug because we we didn't get our tier two actually, yeah, yeah tier two quest till I was you know what 80 80th level or so and and that was like day I don't know 40 <clears throat> we should get that earlier and it shouldn't have been in the radiation zone uh, because we hadn't found any radiation stuff. We were missing pants, I think. We found a couple, but we were still missing the pants. Um, 
but that's those are the things I would change on the map. The map is challenging. I mean, starting in the desert and Darkness Falls is just insane. I mean, you got food, you got the water situation, you got so many things going against you. The zombie, you know, zombies everywhere. Uh, and then you know, having to move. I should, probably should have decided to move earlier, but we didn't know that, about Trader Gin earlier. Um, that was that set us back a couple of days because it took me a couple of days to move. Um, but this was definitely a better place to be. Um, in fact, it would have been probably better off if I just and I thought about it is just getting the f out of the desert and <laughs> finding some, some forest because I knew it was going to be rough. But then I'm like, well, let's go for it, you know. I'm experienced. I can do this. It won't be bad. I mean, it was touch and go. I mean, we we were literally starving to death there for a while. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's my thoughts on the map. Uh, uh, the other thing that kind of ticked me off is, is the broken boat over here. Um, that would have made the, given us an extra trader in the early game and I'm, I'm sad that that was broke um, yeah and let's see further, further thoughts are uranium and plutonium oh my god how long did we search for that and there aren't very many radiation zones for for this size map the, the radiation zones should be much bigger um, and the resources uh, much more. I mean, we, we hacked rocks forever. We found one titanium deposit, I think two or three more later while we were looking for the uh, plutonium and uranium. But, uh, yeah, in, in the standard uh, Darkness Falls map, that's, it's a little tough, but it's not that tough. I mean, we literally, I probably smashed every boulder around here. <laughs> uh, there aren't too many of them left, let me tell you. Um, yeah. Anyway, and coal was the other thing. I mean, there's no coal down here whatsoever. And usually, you know, I, I'm okay with that. I didn't expect to find coal in the forest biome. I knew I'd find a burnt biome. But usually there's a dump along. I mean, a dump along, uh, we should have found at least one or two dump alongs in these, these cities. I mean, this is a pretty good sized city. This is a pretty good sized city. This is a pretty good size. We, we should have found a dump along, and we didn't, uh, because that would have put us, uh, allowed us to, I guess, uh, spend more time doing things than searching for resources. Um, anyway, uh, but then we found the burnt biome, and naturally coal was in there, so they just became getting a nitrate uh, for gunpowder. But by then, by the time we really got where we were comfortable with that, it was time to do coil ammunition. So we were, you know, uh, going that way too. Uh, that's for the map. For, for Darkness Falls in general, uh, and, and I don't know if it's Kane, you know, Kane can fix it. Uh, I don't know if it's the Fun Pimps thing, but the, and I guess in regular vanilla it's that way. The trader never has anything really, really good. I mean, except for when you're first, you know, the first 20 levels, he has stuff that you can't afford. You know, you'd love that that tier tier three, you know, shotgun or or, or, or AK or whatever. Uh, but it's just not going to happen because you know he wants you know 8,000 gold or dukes for it and. You're trying to make Duke so you can buy food to, to survive on. Uh, or bullets put in the, the little 9 mil you got that's a tier, tier 1 9 mil that you thought you were extremely lucky to find. Um, same with the armor. Uh, all the tier level armor. You know, I'm, they're still offering me tier you know, f four, 30 and 40 off for, uh, armor. And I can build tier 71 and then, you know, make it tier 80 with no problem whatsoever. Um, but that's what I get offered. Uh, same with the trader rewards. Uh, and I think, can't, I, I sent 
Cain a, a message on YouTube on one of his videos about uh, Eve. I think in the future, Eve's actually going to give you, um, when you do the quest, she's going to give you green key cards, which you need for the little bunker, because you can actually, this game could get to where that you couldn't do the lab because you couldn't, you didn't have a green key card. Or you need, like, I think probably four or five to be safe. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, at least four. There's five doors to, that open. I think uh, you need at least four of them because you don't have to open the one door to complete the the, te uh, the test, whatever the, the little bunker, the lab. Where, uh, where are we? I don't know where we are. The lab thing, the small bunker, and the stuff that's around that thing, you're gonna have to be so high level that's not even funny, uh, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, this should be the easy one. The other one should be the hard one. And seriously, we could have went and done the the big lab and and probably once we. Once we had the coil rifle, we probably could survive the um, the big bunker and got our uh, laser workbench um, if we were the level, if we had the level to do it. And uh, I think all you need is was it 100 100 level, 120 level, something like that. I don't know if they don't even tell us, but that that those are the the main issues I had with the uh, future technology. No, it's not that one. I want uh, this one. I don't remember what level you have to get that. But you had to find the lab book, and then you have to do that. So you have to do the. You really have to do the small. The lab first because you need the uh, lab assistance to drop the uh, future the what you call it those uh, what are they called damn I'm got a brain fog uh, research notes because you need ten of them to do, get features now and then a, a skill point to put one in so that you can make the, the laser workbench. Um, I mean, there's other places you can find lab, lab assistance. You can use the hospital, those uh, really bad places like the baseball park, uh, any place that looks like a, a CDC place, you'll find them lab assistance, and they'll drop those. So those are basically my final thoughts on this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, if I do a series or if, if this is it for me. Uh, but I'm going to post this uh, at the beginning of the Date 7000 Horde. That's kind of a wrap-up. And we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching the series. I know some of it's boring and I don't do a lot of editing. I hope people appreciate that, and I don't mind if you skip through the video and just get to the good parts. Um, I, I'm going to go back to the descriptions on some of them as they post, um, and update descriptions so that you guys can see the, the juicy parts. Uh, I'll try to put them in the description. You know, I've already started, you know, the ones that are Horde Knight, the ones that are, you know, anything big, you know, attack the lab, attack the, the bunker, stuff like that. Um insignificant stuff and the other thing I'm really surprised and and, and uh, I didn't die and I can't believe that that's amazing I, I mean it comes to close calls but uh, uh, I snuck around enough and I know people say well it's kind of cheating no that's the way I play I mean I never give a, a, a zombie an even chance if I can sneak a bomb and whack him in the head for two, three, four times damage, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, but I suffered because I, I was always using light armor. I, I never donned, you notice, I never donned any of the heavy armor. Uh, I stayed with uh, leather or uh, 
I don't think we ever used padded, maybe at first, but leather. And then uh, when we can make the titanium armor, uh, we made that. And also I think I made uh, some uh, military armor because it's considered light too. So, uh, but that's the way it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next series, maybe if I do one.